Well, stuck here in the garage with uh, <coughs> the big rainstorm and not being to go out this weekend. I was in a video and reloading making mood and so I did my 30 out 6 video and I was going to either move on to the 7.5 Swiss <coughs> or 7.5 French. So I said, while well, I got the powder out and the scale set, I might as well go and I was looking and I figured out to go with the powder I had with a 7.5 by 54 millimeter MAS or French cartridge for the rifle. Uh, that's when I was digging around and found that I had another attempt at doing this a while back. Back when I really didn't have a lot of good info. And I whipped up, as my usual uh, thing, some rounds with a uh, 180 grain bullet, which kind of is not what you should use for this cartridge. 150 grain is about right. 180 grain, even when I double checked it, it's not accurate. It's too heavy of a bullet for the rifle. <clears throat> but anyway, the, the data I got using the powders, uh, it was off. I, you know, I was looking around and, and it's studying the different manuals, there's a discrepancy. And there's stuff even in Cartridge of the Worlds telling you to drive a 150 grain jacketed bullet to like 28, 2,800 feet per second. And it, you have to be careful, even if the data is published. So, now i got to pull these bullets. And there's one good thing about this, we're going to use a different type of bullet puller, and this is what the uh, video is about. This bullet, the shape of it, sticks out of this cartridge pretty good. So this is going to be easy to use with this bullet puller. <clears throat> and what we have is the RCBS collet style bullet puller. And we're, this is different than a uh, kinetic bullet puller. Now a kinetic bullet puller looks like a hammer and it's universal. You snap something in there and get it up on the rim or the ring groove and it'll <clears throat> it'll, you know, the bullet, when you whack it, the bullet will come out. And it pulls the bullet. The, o the other way to pull bullets and is with this here. And this is a collet bullet puller. And what you have is you have this handle that goes through a hole in here. It's, it's threaded. It goes through just a plain hole in the die body. Then you have a collet which is basically split and you see this taper here where my finger is, I'm sorry, my hand. Okay, that's what draws, when you turn that handle on the top, it draws, see this is what threads in there. This thing threads into here. So when this is in the die body and you turn the handle on top, it pulls this up to this tapered area, which corresponds to the taper inside the body, and when you draw it in, it grabs the bullet. Okay, and as you see, it goes in there, that's loose, it'll stop on the case. And when I set this up, I'll show you how all this works. And then you tighten it down inside the uh, press, and then just shove the handle up, and it pulls the bullet out nice, nice. Now, why would you want something like this other than the kinetic bullet puller? Well, this comes in handy. I bought this thing years ago. There's a downside to this. You have to get a collet, you know, like 30 caliber to 30 calibers in there. I don't know what this one is. This one is 44 caliber, okay? I must have been yanking some 44 mags. Um, the disadvantage is you must buy a collet for the different calibers. Okay, the advantage to this is if you got a real tough cartridge that you got to yank apart, usually these were used with the military ones that were lacquered, sealed, and crimped. And if you wanted to pull that ammunition apart, you'd kind of use this would be better than a kinetic bullet puller because you'd be banging on that forever and a day uh, that way. <coughs> So there are some advantages to this, and also, when I show you when I use it, it's just a simple thing, it pops the bullet out, 
and then the powder and everything stays in the case. You can salvage the powder. And a kinetic bullet puller, it all flies down into the tube. There's a chance uh, contamination and everything else. So there are some advantages to this, but there's probably more disadvantages to the average user or how much you're going to be pulling apart ammunition. Uh, also, if you have uh, probably like tracers and stuff like that, you, you'd want to use something like this other than a kinetic bullet puller. Um, so I got that. I'm going to use it on this. I'm going to disassemble all this ammunition because it's, it's no good. The, the load was off. I was getting strange results. So now i got to pull the ammo. And we're going to do this other than uh, kinetic. This is a different way of doing it. And I'll show you how we get it prepped. Okay, so you got your body here. And we got the 30 caliber uh, collar. So you just put this into the body. Take this. I'm trying to get this. Kind of screw it down. Don't draw up on it. Just keep it loose. All right, now we're ready to go put it in. To the uh, press. Okay, I got my camera angle right. So what you do is you take the uh, shell holder for a particular caliber you want, and then what you'd want to do, given room, this is a big press. You don't have to do it to where you see it, but it always kind of helps screw this down. where you see it sticking out here where you can see the damn thing then you do want to tighten this down there's going to be a lot of twist in motion so you give it a little I'll tighten down oh. take our bullet put it up in there and run it up in as you see it engages the collet, it doesn't go over. You gotta be careful not to go over onto the case. Then you just tighten the collet up. Up here. Turn our handle. Why is it was that far back out? Let's see. Alright. Like I said, run up our bullet. Then when we get it. Tight, move that up, spin this here, and we go down snug, and it should just pull it out. And your bullet's pulled out, your case is all set, and actually you can go and just recharge this with something and reseat your bullet as a size case. You know, it's kind of a pain because then you got to release this. Pull your bullet out. And the bullet, other than for some scuff marks, isn't really too terrible and can't be reused. You know, there'll be some uh, marks on there. Generally, when you see uh, pulled bullets, People will sell them because the ammunition could be defective or something. Uh, they'll have little marks on there or something like that, but that's no big deal. These are probably good if you're careful. And it goes along pretty quick once you get it set up and rolling. The only disadvantage is, is you wouldn't be pulling like 38 watt cutters. If you get a bullet that you really can't grab a hold of with the uh, collet, it could be problematic and then the only choice you'll have is to go with a kinetic bullet puller. You see how, I don't know if you can see where the bullet is in there. Let's try to zoom in. There's a pretty good amount, you know, it's grabbing pretty good. Uh, that's a long heavy bullet. So it, for this application or this problem, this is all working out pretty good. But that's your RCBS 
bullet puller. I think other companies make something similar to this, and that's what a collet bullet puller is. You know, less banging, less violent. Alright, here's a little short video on that, another reloading tool that you may run across if you find one. Like I said, the only disadvantage is you got to buy a collet for the different diameters. So it's kind of an expensive tool if you do a lot of different calibers. If you find one used or something, get a deal on it. It might be something to pick up. They, you know, can be useful at times.